If you want to lose fat on a plant-based diet, that comes down to being in a calorie deficit, which in short just means consuming fewer calories or burning off more calories than you need to maintain your current weight, right? Most people will just tell you to eat more vegetables, eat foods higher in fiber, more volume, and you should be good with your weight loss process. But when it actually comes down to practice this with real life situations, it's a little bit more challenging. So I want to get into the specifics of what you should actually be doing, a few rules to put in place so that you can make sure that you're staying within your calorie deficit so that you can actually get lean, lose the belly fat that you've been trying for a while, lose the arm fats, if you're a guy, the chest fats, ladies, maybe the lower body fats, right? And actually build that ideal physique that you want. Drop your body fat percentage and look the way that you actually want to look. So take these rules, apply them, and you will see those results. Let's get right into it. So with number one, we're starting off with the essentials. Pay attention to this because it's the most important piece to make the rest of it work smoothly. And that's finding your target calories per day. I know this would be in a deficit, you actually have to know the numbers of what you should be roughly eating in order to be in that calorie deficit. So you wanna find your target number of calories plus your target number of protein to intake. There's a few ways you can calculate that, but I recommend is go ahead and go to builtbyplants.co backslash fat loss dash calculator, all right? And that's gonna give you my free macro calculator. And what you're gonna do is just enter your information. It's gonna ask you your age, your height, your weight, your gender, activity levels, those type of questions so that you can guess roughly about how much energy that you're expending per day. And it's going to create a baseline of how many calories you should be taking in that's under the amount of energy that you're burning off per day so that you can be in that deficit. And it's going to give you the amount of protein you should be taking in. It will also give you your carbs and fats, but that's not as important as the total amount of calories plus the total amount of protein. So go ahead and go over there, find those numbers, and then you'll be able to actually start making some progress with tracking how much food that you're taking in so that you can hit those numbers, all right? Now, these numbers will not be the same exact for forever, right? You will come to a time where you need to either adjust those numbers so you can keep progressing or increase your activity output so that you can stay in the deficit, but we'll worry about that once we get there. So go ahead and figure out what those numbers are, and then we'll move forward. Number two. Once you have your target calories and target protein intake per day that you should be taking in to be in your calorie deficit, you wanna create a meal plan based around those numbers to ensure that you're hitting those numbers every single day, right? You don't wanna go into this freestyling trying to figure out what foods fits into those numbers, especially if you have a time specific goal. If you have 50 pounds to lose, you have 20 pounds, you're trying to get lean for your wedding or a birthday party or whatever the thing is, right? Or maybe just trying to lose the last five pounds to actually see your abs and lower your body fat percentage. You need to have a plan of the foods that you're gonna be taking in so you can visually see, right? Map this out so that you can see what you're eating every single day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and snacks, or if you're doing intermittent fasting, whatever your approach is, you wanna see this. You don't wanna to try to figure it out day to day. That way, there are no surprises or last minute decisions being made. The worst thing that you can do is figure out your calories to take in and then still go to work the next day trying to figure out what foods you can buy that's gonna fit within your total calories for your lunch, which eventually will just lead to you going to the fast food spot because you get tired and you're trying to hurry up and get back to work before your lunch break is over. Go ahead and map all this out so you can know exactly what you're taking in and you can take your lunch with you. You're prepared, all right? When you stay ready, you don't gotta get ready. If you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. So go ahead and plan your meal so that you don't fail. And it's best to do this with an actual tool. So you can use my fitness pal, so that you can start trying to add some foods if you already know exactly what you want to be taking in. Now, if you want to make this process as easy as possible to create your own meal plan with amazing tasting foods, you can use the Built by Plants Pocket Coach. And we have a trial for a dollar right now. We can go into our virtual kitchen, see all of the delicious, amazing tasting plant-based meals that we've designed with great calories. And you can drag and drop them to your own meal plan on your account. All right. Now, this is an actual app inside of the App Store that you can utilize. So when you purchase your membership online, you can go to the App Store and then just download the app to log into it. And the cool thing about each meal inside of the virtual kitchen is they're high protein with the correct amount of calories to fit your actual goals. And they all have the ingredients, the instructions and videos that shows you how to make these meals and you can make adjustments. So when you add them to your meal plan, you'll be able to see exactly what you have for breakfast, lunch and dinner with the calories at the very bottom of that specific day. So you know exactly what you're taking in. 
And if you need to make adjustments, you can find meals that may fit your meal plan a little bit better and fit those calories so you can stay on point. So as those calories start to adjust over time, you can just add different meals that fit those targets so you can stay within your correct amount of protein and your calories. So head over to builtbyplants.io to create your Pocket Coach membership and get access to the virtual kitchen along with the meal planner so that you can get started with creating your own plan and start losing weight today. Now, the one thing that I'll teach about meal plans is that you don't have to exactly eat every Every single thing that it says on a plan all right you can have some variations you can substitute certain meals but the goal is to have a foundation a blueprint right a baseline of exactly what you should be taking in I call them fallback meals so just in case you don't have something that you want you can fall back on what that meal is for that specific day all right so you can make variations you can swap certain foods or certain meals but it's always good to have a plan so at least you know what you should be doing and you can do your meal prepping so one of the cool things about the virtual kitchen is it's great for meal prepping let's just say you want to eat one to two lunches for the full seven days right the full week but you want to know how much food you should be buying what ingredients and how much you should be getting well you can take the actual dragger and change the serving size from one to seven and it's going to automatically adjust the amount of ingredients and it's going to give you the shopping list for your full meal plan or any specific day of your meal plan so you can take the app to the store and then purchase the food that you need in order to go ahead and make those meals ahead of time so you can cook it in bulk number four track before you snack this is going to help prevent those mindless eating behaviors while you're trying to rebuild your eating habits you don't want to keep engaging in those things that cause you to get in the position that you're in in the first place all right, so before you eat anything, put it into your food log, track it, so that way you know if it actually fits your total calories for the day so that you don't go over. One of the reasons why we continue to not stay within our deficit is because we're eating too many different foods that actually don't fit our numbers. So if you already have a meal plan and you may wanna vary from it or you wanna add a snack to it, make sure that it fits that total daily calorie intake for the day so that you know what adjustments you need to make to some of those other meals, right? How many times have we been in a situation where we used to just eat different snacks throughout the day and we'll have like three meals or so, and then the next day we try to recall what we had the day before and the only thing that we can remember was one or two of those meals, maybe three, and we forgot about all those individual little snacks, the handful of nuts, the scoop of peanut butter, the three Oreos, the chips that we grab from one of our co-workers, all those little individual things that's so easy to forget because they're really insignificant to us, but they're not insignificant to our bodies. Just because we don't track our calories don't mean that our calories don't count, all right? So if you start tracking those calories, you'll know exactly what you're taking in and you'll be able to visually see on your food log why you're gaining weight or why you're staying the same weight or why you're progressing and you're actually losing weight, all right? So just keep in mind, track it before you snack it. This is gonna make you more conscious of those decisions that you're making that may be causing you to stay in your current state. Anytime you get ready to put anything in your mouth, actually track that with your food log. And it's gonna make you more aware. This is bring more awareness, more consciousness to those decisions and staying within your calorie deficit. But there's a big difference between what's possible and what's realistic. All right, keep that in mind. There's a difference between what's possible and what's realistic and sustainable. Now, if you have that ability that very few people have to just have a serving size of that food that you crave and then put it back and you're good, then go ahead and do that. But if you're like me and most people, the 95%, when you have those certain things that you love, peanut butter, chocolate, you know, maybe ice cream or something like that, it's best to just remove that food for the time being while you're trying to lose fat and you're in your deficit so that you don't binge on it, right? Out of sight, out of mind is the goal, right? And I'm not saying that you can't ever have these foods again, but keep in mind, we have a specific time restricted goal and we're going after something to accomplish a greater goal that's bigger than that little food that we crave. Plus keep in mind that your taste buds are not designed to be able to compete against these cravings from people that literally hire individuals to create these foods that are highly palatable and they're designing them to be craved for you to continue to want to eat them over and over and over again. And you're dieting for weeks, let alone months. And you think that you're gonna be able to just have a serving size and not crave that and not eat again. Just remove it for now. And when that diet is over, then you can add it back to your diet. 
But if you are dieting in the first place, it's probably because you've had enough of that food already, right? For the time being, just completely remove them from your food environment. You don't need supporting rows of things that's gonna cause you to binge and make bad decisions. And it's not that you shouldn't ever have it again, it's more so that right now may not be the best time while your food drive is super high. You're really vulnerable because you're just hungry all the time. Your calories are super limited. It's more so about making the right choices at the right time so that you can stay consistent within your calorie deficit. Utilize these tools, use these strategies and keep these in mind. And if you really apply these, it's going to help you reach your goals on a plant based diet a vegan diet and actually stick with it for the long term so that you can actually reach that body fat percentage that you want, lose that belly fat, lose that chest fat, the legs fat, whatever part of your body that you're struggling with losing the fat around. You may need to adjust those goals or you're just not dieting long enough to actually let that fat loss process happen to lose fat in that specific area that you're trying to lose. Share this with someone that really needs this advice. Leave a comment down below on what was most beneficial for you and what you would like to learn next. And I'm looking forward to help you out in the next one. Sign up for the pocket coach. Right now it's a dollar free trial for seven days. And then it's only $27 a month. Currently the price will be going up if you don't take advantage of that right now. It may be different depending on what time you're watching this video. Catch y'all next time. Peace. I want to invite you to join the Built by Plants Pocket Coach, which is our private community and app where I have all the tools, the resources, the courses, and the community to help you succeed towards your goals. We have an actual drag and drop meal plan builder that's going to allow you to grab foods that are inside of what we call the virtual kitchen. It's basically all of our plant-based recipes that have been designed to specifically work for the calories and the protein that you need so you can make some progress. You can take the meals out of the virtual kitchen and drag and drop them onto your meal plan builder. And every day, Monday through Sunday, it'll let you know what you're taking in, a recipe video to show you how to make them, also how many calories for that specific day. So you can say structure. Also, it's gonna give you a virtual grocery list so you can grab only what you need so you're not wasting money when you get into the grocery store. I know that sounds perfect, but let me tell you the rest. It's also have a private community and an actual app that you can download from the App Store or the Android Store so you can post inside of our community. Similar to like Facebook without all the junk, this is specifically towards people that have goals that want to see themselves succeed on a plant-based diet. Even if you've been plant-based for 15 years, you can always make progress towards how your body looks. And that's what this is geared towards. So all of our community members are posting their meals, they post their workouts, they ask questions. And every Sunday we meet on a Zoom call where we're connecting, we're growing, we're creating new recipes from scratch, we're meal prepping together, doing all type of cool things that's gonna help you stay in line and stay mentally prepared and mentally focused so you can actually reach your goal, right? I know you don't lost 20 pounds before, but guess what, it usually comes back because you don't have no support, you don't have no accountability, you don't have no guidance, you don't have nobody in your life in this area that's helping you make progress. And that's what I want for you. Once you go to that next page, it's $27 per month in order to get the pocket coach. And you can cancel if you don't like it, but you're not gonna cancel, you're gonna love it. I will see you inside the pocket coach so I can help you make progress towards your goals and stick with this lifestyle for the rest of your life. See you in a few.